They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Towards the inside, Ferry made a smart beginning, goes off to lead them. Monte Cristo is right there shortly after the start, and Hot Chili with a good position. Winter Aurelius also with a good place, then Powder Keg. On the right is Adderley Street. Unbelievable Chad, that's got the green sleeves and cap about four or five lengths off them, gets a couple of niggles. Feisty fellows further back in the running, then Kalinski towards the inside of that, Roy's Fly. As they move to the 600 region and Ferry is the leader. Monte Cristo's there, Winter Aurelius just off them. Towards the outside we find Hot Chili. Unbelievable Chad continues to be ridden but starts to move in three lengths off the leaders. As they come down to the last 400 though and Ferry still goes. And it's Ferry, Monte Cristo's now putting it under pressure. Unbelievable Chad's running on towards the outside. And Monte Cristo's coming to the lead though. It's Monte Cristo from Unbelievable Chad over the last 100. Monte Cristo's just the leader from unbelievable chad is trying but monte cristo still goes monte cristo won it unbelievable chad second third will go to powder keg Number 10, Monte Cristo, shows up at 760 and 230. The 300,000 rand first timer by Trippy wins it. Wins it by three parts of a length. Second, number 14, Unbelievable Chad, was niggled out from an early stage and gets beaten into that second. Third, I, well, a third actually goes to Ferry. Ferry gets third and fourth powder keg. So further back in the running, Kalinski, and they were then followed by. Winter Aurelius, and then came Oracle Kingdom, Hot Chili, further back is Held Dane, and then came Insider Trading. So as we look at the head-on, and the winner with the brown sleeves, that is Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo, the first time a son of Trippy for Alistair Gordon and uh, Art Kodaik. And they go on well, bred by Mr. and Mrs. Anton Proctor. And just under the hands at this stage, just one or two reminders. They win at about a half length. Race time, 70,70. Toad favorite was number five, Ferry, at 180. But the winner, number 10 on the toad, shows up at that 7 Rand 60. Until the running of the second race, back to the studio. The one runner for trainer Alistair afternoon race number one and a maiden plate over 1200 meters and he, he stepped out a lovely horse here the son of trippy monte cristo uh, racing in the colors of ray kudike and yeah we must thank alistair you know just chatting to him as i mentioned that preview alistair one could sense that you're expecting uh, uh, this horse to run very well yeah, you know, Dizzy's is horse that um, uh, I loved him as a yearling. Um, and congratulations to Anton and Judy Proctor who bred him. Um, I've always liked this horse and Ray has been fantastic. He's always told me to take my time. And um, yeah, it's tough, eh? you know, I haven't got a big yard, but we've always rated this horse highly. And you know, when we went into today and you hear about all the other ones that can run, he can also run and uh, he proved it today. Um, I think he's a really nice horse, and I, I think he'll go on to do a lot of good things. Obviously, he needs a bit of luck going forward, but uh, very excited. I think he's a nice horse. Brilliant, Alistair. You, you said it all, and uh, you know, just going into the new season, you mentioned you know n not uh, the biggest of strings, but we've gone through the first month now. Just having a look at the stock you've got, hoping that things turn, and uh, you've got some nice horses. You know, Bunker Bill is the horse that comes to mind. We just chatted briefly off air. This horse. No, no, I mean, I don't have big numbers. I have some really nice horses. And I've got some super owners, and I've got a lovely team with Alec and Nicolette and everybody. So everything's great. And, and I, I really have got a nice string of horses now. And I think you'll see last season was our best season for quite some time. Mm. And I think you'll see this season's even better. You need luck in this game. You know, the good horses have to go forward and not have problems. But if all goes well for us, I think we will be having horses in big feature races, and that's what it's all about. Please give our best to uh, the owner, Ray Kudaika, a big supporter of racing, a man who loves his, the game, and I'm sure he got a bit of 20 to 1 as well. Well, he's lucky he's on a cruise ship in the, in the Mediterranean, so I'm sure he's having a good party. Well done. Sir. Thanks a lot, Dees. Let's get uh, Alec Forbes in, and uh, Alec, you, you get to know the, the horses back home uh, best of all. I mean, you, you're riding for Alistair, and uh, things looking bright, but 
this horse, the way he was traveling. I mean, you, you must have been uh, smiling at the 400. Uh, yes, yes, I was. You know, I was in my mind had um, uh, the lefty horse uh, always runs on, and I was, you know, worried that he would might come and catch me. But I had a lot, a lot of horse under me at the 400, and uh, you know, I asked him, and he hit the front and did everything right. That last bit, he was green and changing legs and looking for company. But uh, he's, he's a super horse, and uh, I think he'll go on from here. Nice to hear the, the word super, because Alistair gave, paid him a lot of compliments as well. Yes, I, I didn't hear what he said, but I think this horse is super, and I think he will, uh, he will contest uh, races up to a mile. He'll do really, really well. Thanks for that. Before you leave us, uh, not many rides today. I see one is also scratched. Anything else from your side? These, uh, that horse Discourse must have a chance today. Uh, he ran a very nice uh, third last time out, and uh, if, if he gets a bit of luck from the draw, I think he can go close today. You were in front for most of the way. How's the track running? Yeah, well, for the guy in front, the track's always great. These, you know, the guy wins the race. You should ask somebody, you know, ran down the field. But the track seems fine. It doesn't seem like there's any problems. It's, yeah, pretty fair, I would think. Well, all the best for the rest of the afternoon, Alec, and um, with this horse especially. You know, let's hope he goes on to bigger and better things. Thanks very much, Dees. Just, uh, yeah, well done to Alistair and Nicolette and everyone at home, and, and uh, well done to Ray, Ray Kudak as well. Well played. Thank you. Nice comments coming through. I think you're going to have to pencil this one in. Monte Cristo is his name. Alistair Gordon, Alec Forbes, Ray Kudike, Anton Proctor, the breeder, 10, 14, 5 and 11. That's the way they finished race number one. Coming up next will be the next exotics. It will be the place accumulator, 13, 30, a half past one, race number two.